Dear all, welcome to this new review dedicated to Boris FX Optics, an outstanding plugin for your photos made in collaboration with professional VFX artists. Optics comes with 160 professional filters that include amazing camera filters, special film effects, and also color correction and color grading features for all your photos. It can be used within Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Lightroom and also as a standalone application for Mac and Windows. Check our video description to catch our discount code for Optics. You can get it with either a subscription plan or a perpetual license. Once you have installed Optics, you can open it directly or find it on Filter, Boris FX, Optics, Inside Photoshop. On Lightroom Classic, you find it on Photo, Edit In, Boris FX Optics, choosing whether to edit the original photo or a copy of it. Optics opens the selected photo or layer on its main interface. You get the main preview on the center and several panels with tools and features around. At the bottom, you get nine filter categories that you can apply to your photo, complete with quick thumbnails. These include filters from the award-winning Boris FX Sapphire to help you at getting the very best from your photos. Let's take a look at these. Under Color, you find outstanding photo filters to adjust colors, make adjustments and correct brightness and contrast. From Diffusion Blurs, you can apply loads of filters to reduce details and imperfections with blur, glow, or the newest halo effect. Inside Film Lab, you can add impressive film effects by adding grains, film damage, and vintage colors to get a professional, oldish look. On Grades Tints, you find several filters to change the look of your photos and apply color grading. With Image, you can increase the quality of your photos by removing fog, noise, and mist. Whereas on Lens, you can apply lens correction and lens distortion. From Light, you can add natural light and outstanding glow effects. Open Render to add great textures, lighting effects, and extra objects such as moon, sky, clouds, and much more. With Stylize, you can modify or distort the photo appearance, getting a cartoon look, a night vision effect, any pencil drawing, and more. If you are looking for any specific effect, you can open the new search bar on top. To apply any effect, just click on its thumbnail. On the right, you get several ready presets you can choose and check on the preview. Optics offers more than 1,000 ready templates you can use to save time. If these are not good, you can open the Parameters panel to fully customize the effects options, acting on the bars or typing the correct value directly. For some filters, you can tune the effect directly on the preview. As you edit the photo appearance, make sure to take a look at the histogram at the bottom, very useful to find the correct color balance and lightness. You can also save the custom set of properties with the first button on top. This will become available under the Presets list and inside the Custom category at the bottom. The main preview shows the result of your filters applied. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out and hold down the spacebar key to pan around. On top, you can fix the preview resolution to 1K, 8K, or at the maximum one allowed for your photo. You can also make effective comparisons in several manners, taking all the views present on the left side, in this case, the original photo versus the edited one. You can put these side by side entirely, or check these with any horizontal or vertical separator you can move. 
Moreover, you can enable A-B comparison to get a complete preview on each view. On the left side, you get the effect panel, showing the complete chain built over the layer from the bottom to the top in order. At the bottom, you get the original photo and, above, the effect you have just applied. You can add other effects by clicking on Add Layer and selecting from the Filters panel at the bottom. Each of these effects is indeed a saved state of your photo. You can click on any effect to check it on the preview and use the Edit button to edit its properties or even change its kind. You can also enable or disable the current view when making comparisons on the preview and use the Enable Filter button to turn on and off each effect anytime. Each effect has a quick bar to set its opacity level, very useful to make the effect stronger or smoother. You can also include any blend mode between such effect and its previous one. Whereas to remove or duplicate any effect, just right-click on it. With optics, you can add great masks to apply these filters to defined and limited areas. With the interested effect in edit mode, you can click on Add Mask on top to apply several masks on it. These will be added next to the effect thumbnail on the left, representing the affected areas in white color and the masked areas in black color. You can choose Gradient to apply a linear gradient with the possibility to invert its direction or change its opacity, its direction, and also its feather size. Whereas choose Spot to add a circular mask with shape and feather set above. With Path, you can click on the preview to define a custom region that delimits the area where the effect must be applied. You can also draw multiple regions to intersect and subtract these together with the options on top or invert the mask, change its opacity, and so on. If you choose Selection, you can create the mask with just one click. The white region will spread to match the same property set on top, adjusting ranges and radius as needed. Whereas use Paint to brush the white region on the preview directly and completely freehand, especially in case you have to be precise. You can adjust the brush size by holding down the Control or Command key. Besides these masks, Optics also includes a very advanced masking tool called Easy Mask, very good to handle complex shapes and borders such as hair. Adjust the brush size and then left-click and drag to define a green path representing the border of the foreground area where the effect will be applied. Then right-click and brush to drop a red path representing the background area where the effect must be masked. When you apply all with Generate Mask, Optics analyzes both the brushes and renders the mask automatically. You can check the mask shape obtained with Show Mask above. The area between the green and the red brush is where the mask shape changes according to the contours met on the image. You can find the mask area by brushing green and red and rendering again the mask until you reach the final result. You can also draw with the blue Paint Unknown if you prefer to define the intermediate border and Paint Missing to remove excessive feather from the mask by including further details when rendering the mask shape. You can indeed use Easy Mask to extract very complex mask shapes without losing a lot of time when you have to deal with hard borders and shapes. On top, you can enable the Eraser tool to refine these brushes and the Fill tool to extend the brushes with just one click. Then adjust the mask opacity, its blur value, and direction. If you want to use the same mask on other effects, you can simply move the mask from one effect to the other. This way, you do not have to select and define the mask again.
You can also apply multiple masks in series on each effect if necessary. In this case, select any mask to edit it, or use its cross button on top to remove it. Once your photo is ready, you can click on Done in the top left corner to apply all filters and come back to your main photo editor. You can undo this with Ctrl or Command and Z, or reopen optics to edit all filters applied again. Next to Done, you can use Cancel to close optics and come back to Photoshop or Lightroom without applying any filter and Reset All to reset all the effects applied and restart from the original photo appearance. Thank you very much for watching this review. Make sure to catch our video description to get a discount code and download Optics to get the most from your photos.